Sean, I'm Ron Steele. And I'm Amanda Goodman. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Well, you might want to check your refrigerator and kitchen cupboards because you could have foods the federal government says actually unsafe for you to eat. The FDA announcing all trans fat foods are being ripped off the shelves in the next three years. KWWL's Justin Andrews is live tonight with what you need to know. And Justin, this is going to affect each and every one of us. Hey, yeah, man, it's not every day you get a chance to see what I do before a live shot. I've got chips, I've got pizza, I even have waffles. All these things are trans fatty foods, and the FDA is tossing it off shelves and checking it off your grocery list. It sure can make your food taste good and even make groceries last longer on store shelves. But the FDA says it's a hazard to your heart. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a great idea. It's a lot of things, isn't it? Yeah. It's not good for you either. We're talking about trans fats, those man-made artificial fats, and if they're being bagged in your diet, you could be looking at health problems. Yeah, they should have done this a really long time ago, and they should have, and for years they kept telling us saturated fats were bad. That wasn't true. In fact, trans fats are probably worse than those fully saturated fats, and the FDA says the trans fats are not recognized as safe for human food. The next time you go to the grocery store, you might want to check a few things off your list. The FDA sure is, and it's all related to trans fat. The FDA announced all artificial fats are being pulled from the American diet, giving food manufacturers only three years to remove the partially hydrogenated oils from their products. I'm looking forward to seeing what the taste is going to be like. Those frozen pizzas, you might as well slice them. They've got trans fats, canned chili, crackers, beef jerky, and even those waffles you had this morning all contains trans fat, leading to higher body weight, memory loss, and heart disease. The trouble is they put it in a lot of the popular foods. And kids eat a lot of it. Everybody does. Since 2003, many food manufacturers and fast food chains have removed or reduced trans fats, but you've still got to watch out for them. It's interesting to know. I read a lot of labels, but I don't know a lot of the terms. Now, Amanda, under current rules, companies are required to list those trans fats on their labels, but sometimes they're listed under the term hydrogenated vegetable oils. So right now, it's safe to keep reading those labels closely until those trans fats are gone for good. We've got you covered live tonight. I'm Justin Andrews, KWWL News. We watched you throw that whole bag of chips off to the side. All right, Justin, thanks so much.